Hi there. It's Saturday, March 16th, and time for Proverbs 16. Let's jump over there and we'll get started. <clears throat> 1. The plans of the mind belong to man, but the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. Get that? You make all the plans you want, but he's going to have his way. All the ways of man are pure in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the spirit. Got that? The Lord weighs the spirit. Can't argue with that. Number three, commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. There you go, see? Everything should be committed to the Lord. For the Lord has made everything for its purpose, even the wicked for the day of trouble. Hmm. Yeah. Number five. <clears throat> Everyone who is arrogant is an abomination to the Lord. Be assured he will not go unpunished. Wow. That's amazing. Huh? This says up here, everyone who is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Wow. So we look that up just for kicks. Get the official bing. Having or revealing an exaggerated sense of one's own importance or abilities. Hmm. There you go. You full of yourself? Thinking you're more important than you are? God doesn't like that. Be warned. Six, by loyalty and faithfulness, iniquity is atoned for. And by the fear of the Lord, a man avoids evil. It says right here, by loving kindness and truth, iniquity is atoned for. Seven, when a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. That says, no weapons formed against me shall prosper. Hmm? Yeah, let's highlight that because that's a that's a good one. <clears throat> this is always good. Better is a little with righteousness than great revenues with injustice. All right, better to have a little and be righteous. Nine, a man's mind plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. <laughs> now that's the same as verse one, huh? The plans, the plans of the mind belong to man, but the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. Or, a man plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. There you go. Ten, inspired decisions are on the lips of a king. His mouth does not sin in judgment. Well, good king, huh? 11. Adjust balance and scales are the Lord's. All the weights in the bag are his work. Adjust balance and scales. Okay. It says all over here that the Lord hates unjust scales. It is an abomination to kings to do evil, for the throne is established by righteousness. But a lot do, huh? 13. Righteous lips are the delight of a king. And he loves him who speaks what is right. right. Lots about kings in here, huh? 14. A king's wrath is a messenger of death, and a wise man will appease it. Right. Got to make the king happy. 15. In the light of a king's face there is life, and his favor is like the clouds that bring the spring rain. 16. To get wisdom is better than gold. To get understanding is to be chosen rather than silver. Well, that's important. To get wisdom is better than gold. Mm -hmm. And understanding is to be chosen rather than silver, right? Money, wisdom, knowledge is more valuable. 17. The highway of the upright turns aside from evil. He who guards his way preserves his life. Got that? Yeah. 18. Pride goes before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. 
Pride goeth before a fall. Remember that? As kids. Don't be prideful. God doesn't like that. That's the same thing as being arrogant. Okay. 19. It is better to be of a lowly spirit with the poor than to divide the spoil with the proud. Get that. 20. He who gives heed to the word will prosper, and happy is he who trusts in the Lord. Happy is he who trusts in the Lord. That's a good one. And he who gives heed to the Spirit will prosper. I like that. I like that. 21. The wise of heart is called a man of discernment, and pleasant speech increases persuasiveness. We talked about this a lot yesterday. Being calm, a calm answer, pleasant speech. It increases persuasiveness. You get that? 22. Wisdom is the fountain of life to him who has it, but folly is the chastisement of fools. It means their foolishness is the chastisement of fools. The discipline of fools is folly or foolishness. 23. The mind of the wise makes his speech judicious and adds persuasiveness to his lips. Hmm. Instructs his mouth, it says over here. <clears throat> 24. Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Hmm. Yes, everybody likes pleasant words. Okay, they just like it. Be pleasant. 25. There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. All right. Pray about stuff. Always. 26. A worker's appetite works for him. His mouth urges him on. Right. If you're hungry, you're going to work. Right. Mm -hmm. 27. A worthless man plots evil, and his speech is like a scorching fire. Right. 20. A perverse man spreads strife, and a whisperer separates close friends. Gossip. A pervert spreads strife, and a gossip separates close friends. All right? I talk about gossip all the time because if your best friend comes to you and tells you a very personal problem that he needs help with, and you go to somebody else and say, help me pray for my friend so-and-so. He did such and such. Now, you've just told somebody else, and they're going to spread it all over the place. And your friend's going to come back to you, and he is no longer going to be your friend. He says, I told you that in confidence, and now the whole church knows. Yes, I said church. The whole church knows. 29, a man of violence entices his neighbor and leads him in a way that is not good. Right. 30. He who winks his eyes plans perverse things. He who compresses his lips brings evil to pass. Wink, wink, nod, nod. Mm, right. Mm? Stay away from people like that. 31. A hoary head is a crown of glory. Hoary head. What is that? Gray head. Okay, say gray hair. Not gray hair. Gray hair is a crown of glory. It is gained in a righteous life. If you can live this long and get some gray hair, okay, you've learned a thing or two. <clears throat> 32. He who is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he who rules his spirit than he who takes a city. That's important. Okay? That's important. Be slow to anger. And 33. The lot is cast into the lap, but the decision is holy from the Lord. Okay? So, that's 16 for March 16th. And we highlight it in here. <clears throat> All the ways of a man are pure in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the spirit. Hmm? Think all you want. The Lord knows your spirit. It says in the Bible, your spirit belongs to the Lord. <clears throat> here, number three, we highlight it. Commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. Yeah. You should pray before work every day. Lord bless this day. May this work be for you. And 
you know, and your plans will be established. It says it right there. And number five, everyone who is arrogant or proud is an abomination to the Lord. Be assured he will not go unpunished. Wow, that's a tough one right there. Highlighted seven, when a man's way pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Right. And a good one. Eight, better is a little with righteousness than great revenues with injustice. Or great income. Hmm. And Lord loves a just balance and scales are the Lord's. 16. To get wisdom is better than gold. To get understanding is to be chosen rather than silver. Right? And it says all over power. If you go after first fear of the Lord and then go after wisdom and understanding, then the other stuff will come automatically. It just will. Okay? And 18. Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Not that prideful, haughty, you're going to fall. Highlighted 20, he who gives heed to the word will prosper, and happy is he who trusts in the Lord. That it could be a song right there. I'm sure there is. 24, we highlighted pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul, and health to the body. Right, say good things. Always say good things. Hmm? And we highlighted 20, a perverse man spreads strife and a gossip or whisperer separates close friends. Right? Mm -hmm. And something we should all strive better to be, he who is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he who rules his spirit <clears throat> than one who takes a city. Right? Slow to anger is better than being mighty. I mean, like that. So, there you go. That's Proverbs 16 for March 16th. Stay tuned later today. We'll be doing the. We're still in Deuteronomy for another four or five days yet. Okay, but we're getting closer. Catch up on any of these you may have missed. Give us a like if you think about it. But until next time, stay humble.